Uh, so, not 100% sure, Dodo, about what you're trying to do. I get the concept generally is that you have a need to have two different pictures side by side. You want them to go no less than 320. And it seems like there's no restriction about how much they can expand to. I, but you're trying to make sure that when they collapse the pages at 960 rather than 640 which obviously 320 by 320 with no margins or anything is 640 and therefore that's why that's happening you then are putting the min width at 479 which is obviously not going to do what you want in terms of the 320 don't know exactly what your preferences are in terms of spacing between these things but the only way that i can find to do this in terms of making it so that your min width will go down to 320 and that the page will actually collapse them at 960 is to put margins on them. So I feel like this is kind of what you're looking for where you bring this down and you can see as I continue down we're getting to the point where we're almost at 960 and then right until now we're going to be here. Now Bubble still hasn't done what most users are asking of them is to bring back something that I personally believe they should have never gotten rid of, which is our ability to click onto an element and see what the size is at that moment. Because without that, I have absolutely no idea, is this image 320 or not? It looks like maybe what Bubble is doing instead now is allowing us to hover over something and actually seeing that. Because as I do hover over this, I can see those image sizes uh, seem to be coming out on the bottom not very consistently but there they are it looks like they're at 320 each uh, so right now if I just bring this down a bit there we go it's below 960 now they've collapsed under each other and they're expanding out and I can bring this all the way down and I can bring it down to around here so this is this is an area at which like yes the images are at 320 I uh, however the settings on this is to have a margin of 80 on each side. So what you would end up wanting to do here is to set up conditionals so that once the page has gone below the point of allowing them to collapse any further, you can see it's just around here because you got what? 80 on both sides of a 320 image. So that's 160, that's 480. So your page at 480 is the moment at which it's going to end up needing to get rid of those margins. And so we can put in a conditional here, say when the page width is, let's put it at less than 480. We're going to get rid of the properties of the left margin and the right margin and get those off of there. It's uh, not what I wanted to do, Bubble. Why is Bubble taking that off? That's ridiculous. Left margin, I'm putting it in there as zero. And right margin, putting it in there as zero. Okay, so if I bring this on, well, I need to copy this condition and bring it into this other one and paste that condition. We'll see what ends up happening. You can see now I can bring them all the way down and at 320 they're at their minimum and that's the page with the 320. So I think that this is kind of what you're wanting to accomplish and the way that I did it was just mathematically looking at the numbers that you said. You wanted 960 for where they collapse, but at 320. So 320 plus 320, 640, 960 minus the 640 is 320. 320 divided by four is 80. So we've got 80 margins on both sides of these. So in the builder, my group container, the layout is actually a layout of row. And that's how I've got these set up as images, just put right into there. And on those images, I put the left margin of 80 and the right margin of 80 to make that possible. One of the feature sets that I've requested from Bubble is to make it so that when we have our margin set, we can actually have some kind of a setting that dictates to allow those margins to be collapsing themselves so that we wouldn't need to bother with something like what I had to do here 
are with the collapse and the conditional at 480 and instead allow these margins to just kind of collapse on themselves at the point at which the image would be reaching 320. I think that would be fantastic if Bubble can put that in and if they could that would probably make life a lot easier I, and make things a little bit smoother as well. I, so yeah, hopefully this helps you out in understanding a little bit of potentially what you're trying to do. No idea if it is what you're trying to do.